water bottle next to you, that's good. Keep hydrated. I'll go get some. Okay, everyone, let's get started. <coughs> that out of the way. All right. Okay, welcome everyone on this lovely Monday morning. We've had some melting, serious melting going on, which I am very grateful. I know we all are. <sighs> Helps before the next little blast. So, Apparently winter is not yet finished with us, but I think we're finished with it. So uh, we'll allow this last blast, right? Okay. So let's settle in. Bring your thoughts in to the practice today. As you begin to settle into your chairs. Just allow your body to slump. Just allow everything to settle and become soft. And slow your breathing down. Now bring your hands down onto your thighs and straighten up, lengthen your spine, straighten your spine. But keep your shoulders and neck soft. And as we begin, let's just focus on our breath. Take some nice inhales into the belly. And then bring that breath on up into the rib cage, And finally, to the chest. Our three part yogi breath, Dirga breath. Breathing nice deep inhales and slow exhales. <coughs> Just continue inhaling and exhaling. Centering and grounding. Feel the floor beneath your feet. Connecting you, grounding you. And allow your energy to travel up your spine to the crown of your head and upward. Connecting you to the sky, to the universe. Fully grounded and connected. I'm going to do a dynamic mudra today. This mudra helps with concentration and centeredness and increases brain activity it has a, a um, neuroplastic quality to activate our brains so as i said dynamic meaning it's a moving mudra so bring your hands out and let me demonstrate first as you inhale, you will connect your fingers, and as you exhale, straighten your fingers back up, one at a time. So joining the thumb and the first finger as you inhale and say, you can say this under your breath, uh, sa. It's S-A-A-A-A-A, sa. And then... As you exhale, as you exhale, bring your fingers back out. Move to the middle finger. That's ta, ta. So sa, ta. The third finger is na, 
and the fourth, ma. So it's sa, ta, na, ma. All right? And we're going to do this very slowly. So as you, let me get this straight here. All right, as you take the inhale, bring your fingers together, the thumb and the first finger. As you exhale, I, I just said exhale. As you inhale, release. So it's, okay. Now take it very slowly. You can repeat it to yourself or you can say it under your breath. So, so. I'm going to I'm going to stop saying it out loud. Say it to yourself. Just on the breath and the move. on your own. Finish the move that you're on. Gently open your eyes. This is a behavior that you can help you improve your concentration. It's also very relaxing. As you went, you may have felt yourself becoming calmer. This helps to calm and that helps to really boost brain activity. So a good mudra to do, you know, whenever you have a few moments time, sharpen your concentration. All right, sit up nice and tall, bring your hands out and inhale, reaching up, bring your hands together, palms apart as you exhale and float the hands down slowly. I want you to do this again. Inhale. Feel the air movement in the palm of your hands. Feel the energy in the palms of your hands. And exhale. Floating the hands down. Good. Shake it out. Bring your hands to your thighs. We're going to start with the neck today. Because we're going to do some dynamic uh, torso movements. So. Let's loosen up the neck just a bit. So bring your, shoulder, your shoulders up to your ears and squeeze. Squeeze nice and tight and do some rotations with your head. Either direction, nice slow rotations. 
feel the neck muscles here. Loosen those up a bit. And at some point, change directions, go the other way. And breathe. Continue breathing. And bring your head back to neutral and release. All right, do some shoulder rolls one at a time. Breathe nice deep breaths in and out and go the opposite direction. And shake it out. Bring your hands back to your thighs and now float your left ear to your left shoulder, keeping your right shoulder down and drop your right hand. Feel that stretch in the side of your neck. If you want to deepen the stretch, bring your left hand up over the side of your head and just like gravity, create a little deeper stretch in the side of your neck. And breathe. Nice breaths here, opening up the muscles in the neck, and rushing all day, doing things, tensing up our neck and our shoulders to release those. And release that hand, shake it out, and let's go to the other side. Now float your right ear to your right shoulder. And drop your left hand. Feel that stretch. If you want to increase that, just bring your other hand up. Notice maybe the second side is a little tighter than the other side. your breath and release. Bring that hand down and just gently move your head side to side very slowly and now holding it to the left and now just let your head move like a pendulum or like a smile. Make a smile with your chin as you bring it down the front and up to the other side, slowly and back again. Just a few times. Just loosening up the neck muscles. Bring your head back to center. Looking down at the floor, bring your hands around the back of your head, interlace the fingers, let your hands rest against the back of your head, and allow gravity to create a little deeper stretch here. Don't yank at your neck or pull down. Just creating a little more space in the back of your neck. And release. Release your hands and bring your back up. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's work on the torso a bit. Um, and if you have a block out there, why don't you get that right now and have it next to you? Because we're going to be using that. We're going to start with uh, some side bends. So place the block about a block width away from your right foot. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale and exhale. Stretch over, placing your hand on the block. Now inhale, reaching up with your other hand. 
if this is too deep a stretch for you, you can bring your hand around your back. We're going to open the shoulder, but we don't want to stress it. So feel that stretch in the side body. And breathe. Nice breaths here. And with your next exhale, bring your arm down and then come up. Any block with you, let's go to the other side. Take a nice inhale, and as you exhale, place your hand on the block. And inhale, reaching up your other arm, opening the side body. Nice inhales and exhales here. Making space between those ribs. Increasing our oxygen ability to flow into our heart space, into our lungs. And exhale, bring that arm down. Come up. Right. And sitting up nice and tall now, bring your left hand around the back of the chair, holding the back of the chair or the seat or whatever behind you. Bring your other hand to your outer thigh, sitting up tall and now stretching from the waist, turning from the waist, twist, looking over your left shoulder. Good. Everyone I can see looks really good. Very nice twist there. Breathe. Nice breaths in and out here. Twists are good for us. They massage our internal organs. Nice breath, see if you can twist just a little deeper. And with your next exhale, turn your head and bring it forward and then bring the rest of your body around. All right, and shake that out a little bit. Let's go to the other side. Bring your right arm around the back of the chair, holding it somewhere. Your left hand, your outer thigh. Sit up tall before you... Twisting from the waist. Your knees should remain pointed forward. And twist looking over your shoulder. It's good, everyone. Deep breathing. Nice deep breaths here. Just imagine you're massaging internal organs, especially liver, kidneys, spleen, all of the abdominal muscles. See if you can twist just a little further and breathe. With your next exhale, bring your head forward and come around. All right. And just take a moment, shake it out, maybe just do a few very gentle movements side to side. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's work on the upper body a little. Bring your left hand to your right collarbone and press right on the collarbone with the heel of your hand 
pressing back so that we're opening the front body. Now drop your other hand and take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, turn your head and turn it away from your hand. Feel that nice opening in the front body. So breathe in and out. Keep breathing here. Keep pressing and opening up the side of the front body. And with your next exhale, release. Then go and go to the other side. Pressing on that collarbone. Drop your hand. Take an inhale. Exhale, looking away from your hand. Good. Very nice, everyone. Nice breaths here. stretching. And with your next exhale, bring your head forward and release. And shake it out. We're going to do forward fold. Bring your hands out. Reaching up, keep your hands apart. And forward fold. Move forward. As far as you can, to your knees, your thighs, your ankles, whatever works for you today. And if you have a block and you want to use your block, place your block in front of you, put your hands on. If your hands are not touching the floor and dangling, bring your block in front of you. Nice, nice opening in the back. And release. Bring your hands over to your ankles, shins, work your way up, and release. Okay, we're going to do a couple more things with the block, but first, going to do what's called breath of joy. Take a little swallow of water here so my throat doesn't get super dry. All right, this is dynamic, so make sure you don't have something sitting right next to you because I don't want you to smack something. Here's how, here's how this works. All right. <clears throat> breath is you intake your breath in three movements and it's first of all one third of your breath one third of your breath one third of your breath and exhale okay so it's like this inhale 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 exhale all right so Let's, let's go. Inhale, 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 exhale. Couple more. Inhale, 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 exhale. On your own. One more. That's an energizing breath. 
really? <laughs> All right, that sets us up for this next pose. Take a block if you have one. And if you don't, don't worry, you can do this without the block. I'm going to turn my chair around so you can see me. Maybe I'll do it this way. I think this will give it the idea. Place the block behind you against the chair so that the top of the block is, you should be able to feel the bottom of your shoulder blades kind of resting on top of the block. So it's in the middle of your back, shoulder blades resting on top of the block. All right, position your feet so that your knees are right over the ankles, hip width apart. And if you don't have a block, you can do this without the block. But this will really open up the front body. So just bring your hands up to shoulder height and back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Holding it right here. Inhale. Exhale. Deep inhales and exhales. Make some sound as you exhale. Holding it right here. And release, just bring your arms down, but leave the block right where it is. Okay, we're going to do that again, but we're going to bring our arms up higher. So resting against the back or just bring your arms up and gently outward and back. Feel that in the front body and strengthening across your upper back. Just gently bring it back as far as is comfortable. Don't overdo this. And breathe. And release. Bring your arms down. Shake them out. Bring the block. Now bring it down so that it's right in your lower back. Okay? Or sitting in the chair, however. Now grab the bottom or the seat, rung of the chair, whatever. And now press into your into the block. Press into it. Your thighs will be tight. Your hips, glutes, buttocks, everything should be nice and tight as you press into that lower back, into that block. This should really feel good. At a disadvantage. And see people over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Pressing in, holding it there. Breathe. Tendency here is to hold your breath because it's really tight as the core. And now release. You should feel yourself just slump right down. Hold it for a moment, just rest here. Let's do that one more time. And now pressing into the block or the back of the chair, tightening everything up from the core all the way to the knees. Breathe. These deep breaths here. And release. Take the block out, reposition. Okay. All right. Um, we'll do just a couple of poses, and there's we've done a lot of dynamic work 
today. Now we're going to use our mental ability and our mind. We're not going to move our body at all, but we're going to go through a couple of poses. So, this is one that I think everyone is familiar, very familiar with, cat cow. So, what I want you to do is close your eyes and just visualize your body and your breath going through cat cow. Focusing on the movement and breath mentally. So, visualize yourself in position, sitting in a chair, your knees right over the ankles, hip width apart, hands, palms down on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall as you inhale forward into cow and exhale back into calf rounding your spine inhale forward into cow shoulders back head up exhale back into cat rounding your spine inhale forward into cow and exhale back into cat seeing yourself moving fluidly continue on your own nice fluid movements matching your breath and movement Inhaling, exhaling. Nice movements here. And finish the movement you're on and then open your eyes. Take a moment, notice what you feel. How did that feel for you? Able to see yourself in the movement. Able to match the breath with your movement. Right. Let's work on feet and legs for a bit. So just holding the bottom of the seat or rung of the chair, bring your feet out and point and flex a few times, flexing your toes back toward you and pointing the toes forward and down. Flex, bringing them back and pointing forward. Inhaling and exhaling, slow movement here. Feel your shins as they stretch and tighten. Feel the calves of your legs as they stretch and tighten. Rotate your ankles. Both directions. Bring your feet down and just do some toe taps. And release. Right. And bring your hands out. Bring your fingers wide apart, nice starfish fingers, and rotate your wrists, both directions, just again, work your fingers a bit, 
shake it out, sit up nice and tall. <coughs> Inhale, reaching up, bring your hands together, clasp your fingers, turn your palms up, crack your knuckles. It's a byproduct. All right, and let's stretch over to the side. Nice side stretch here. Breathe. Back up. The other side. Coming back up. Stretching up to the ceiling. And release. Shake it out. I think it's in my other class we do a lot of. Let's just end with a little bit of movement, gentle movement as if you were moving through water. As if you're a piece of seaweed floating, floating, floating. Just feel that looseness now in your shoulders, in your upper body, around your mid back. See if you can feel the energy in the palms of your hands as you move. And release. And it's time for relaxation. Sit back in your chairs. And I'm going to move a little closer so that everyone can hear my voice. All right, you won't be watching because you're going to have your eyes closed. Sit back, relax, close your eyes. Begin to just allow your body to become very relaxed, calm, very comfortable. Relax your shoulders and your chest. Relax all the muscles in your face, crown of your head. Relax your scalp. Just let it feel loose at the top of your head. Soften your shoulders and your neck. Relax your arms, chest, and your upper back. your awareness to your abdomen and your lower back, letting go of any tension there, relax your arms, your hands, relax your hips, buttocks, thighs, and lower legs. Any tension in your feet, just allow your whole body to soften. Feel very comfortable and relax. Now visualize the center of your chest, warm, radiant, 
full of energy. Notice how comforting that feels. Draw your attention to your spiritual heart center in the middle of your chest. Visualize a green light. Allow this light to grow brighter every breath you take. Rest your attention on the light. Continue to breathe and sense your breath flowing into your heart. Visualize the green color of your heart's energy and see the light permeating through your chest. See this energy as it radiates out from the center of your heart into the rest of your body. Feel this energy flowing into your arms and hands and back into your heart. As you breathe, repeat silently to yourself. I am open accepting and expansive. The energy in my heart flows like a river out to every cell in my body. Allow your heart to continue to open and radiate love and positive energy. And your heart all love and positive energy to radiate. Now, as this practice comes to a close, begin to deepen your, breathe, your breath. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. Take in a nice deep breath. And release with a sigh. <sighs> nice. Deep sigh. Again. And gently move your head side to side. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Bring your hands out to the side. Inhale, reaching up. Bring your hands together and float the hands down center. Thank you for joining me today online and here in person. Um, Marlene will be teaching next Monday. And just as a reminder, on April 13th, a week from Thursday, is our next yoga.
yoga talk. So be on the lookout for that. We're going to be covering uh, yoga for healthy knees and ankles. So join us for that. You'll get an email. And again, thank you for being here today. And the love of my heart reaches out and honors infinity and the love in each one of you. Peace. Thank you. Stay online. Feel free to join us here. Talk. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Bonnie. You're welcome.